target a specific organism with a specific frequency. So in this next video, you'll see a large organism in the center, a paramecium, undergoing disintegration and swimming all around it, a tiny different organism, which is unharmed. If we're lucky, we'll also hear the audio as I narrate the experiment live in a noisy lab. Perhaps you can see the sort of fireworks effect happening in the growing blister to the right of the organism. And here comes a little neighbor wondering what's going on. Who's testing? And you can see blisters forming now on the lower left quadrant and upper left quadrant. The shape is now changing. And a major explosion out the top. <clears throat> so now we have some evidence that we can target specific microorganisms with specific frequencies. And we make several more videos and we film the destruction of hundreds of microorganisms. And about this time, we meet a cancer researcher and we show them these videos. And this results in an invitation to spend four months in a cancer research lab trying to shatter cancer cells. This is our setup in the lab. You can see the microscope with cancer cells on it. Here's the plasma tube. And here is my little frequency control box. So first we attack pancreatic cancer. Take a good look at this slide because the next one will look quite different. After we treat these cells, they change their shape and size and they begin to grow long rope-like structures out the sides. They look something like antennas. I call them bioantennas for biological antennas. It's as if the cancer cells are trying to tune in to our signal. It also turns out this is the beginning of a process of destruction for cancer cells. We now know that cancer is vulnerable between the frequencies of 100,000 hertz and 300,000 hertz. So now we attack leukemia cells. Leukemia cell number one tries to grow a copy of itself, but the new cell is shattered into dozens of fragments and scattered across the slide. Leukemia cell number two then hyperinflates and also dies. Leukemia cell number